Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to forward your ports to Modern Warfare 3 servers so that when you play on your PlayStation, you get the best connection and your NAT type could possibly mo be moderate or open. So first what you're going to need to do is click the start menu, type CMD, click enter. And then here you're going to type in IP CONFIG slash all you're gonna look for IPv4 address. You're gonna write that down. You're gonna write down your subnet mask. You're gonna write down your default gateway. And then you're gonna write down both DNS servers. Okay. Remember to write those two down. Next step will be on your PlayStation. Okay, so now that you have that done on your PlayStation, you're going to open up your browser. <coughs> you're going to type in 192.168.1.1. Admin, admin. Then you're going to go to applications and gaming and these ports are for PlayStation Network so I don't want to use those because I already have an open NAT type check out my other video I'll have a link up at the top right hand side of the screen on how to open up your NAT type on PS3 this is for the actual monitor for 3 game not the system Okay, so you go to port forward dot com, click enter. And you're gonna look for your router down here. I'm just gonna go on Linksys and use the one I have. Mm, here we go. And this is an advert advertisement. You don't have to buy anything. So just click here to skip this advertisement. Okay, now you're going to look for... Don't look for the actual name of the game itself. You're going to have to look for P where it says PS3 and then the name. So you're going to look for PS3 Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Here we go. Okay. And this is for my router, so you're going to have to look for your your router, but I think it's pretty much the same for all Linksys. Okay, now here you're going to enter the static IP address of your PlayStation. You should have that static IP from the uh, video, the previous video I showed. I'll post a link at the top right hand corner of the screen right now for a video on how to set a static IP. So you're going to enter your stat the last number of your static IP now I'll skip that and these ports all these one two three four five six all these six ports you're gonna copy the number do exactly as it says for example 80 to 81 port range forward 80 to 81 and you're gonna hit both enable it doesn't matter the name and then you're going to do the same for the next 443443 
403-443-443, both. 307-4-3075. 3074-3075. Well, you get the idea. You're going to do the same for all the ports on this page, which is six totals, so it should end right there. Ignore ignore these numbers that I have here it's for something different, my PS3. And then you're going to enter them all, click Enable, click Save Settings, unplug your router for 10 seconds, plug it back in, turn off your PS3, turn it back on, perform an internet test. Once you have your static IP, your DNS servers, your subnet mask, and your default router set on the PS3. And then you're going to go to the game, Modern Warfare 3, go to online, and check if it's open. I've actually never tried this this process, but I know it works for a lot of people. If it doesn't work for you, comment on this video or send me a private message and I'll try to get back as fast as possible and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks guys. Subscribe.